what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna review the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bell, Carly Bible. Ooh, I'm not totally sure how you say that. But we're gonna review the new eyeshadow palettes. If you guys wanna see what this is all about, what are my thoughts on this, then definitely keep on watching. By apologizing if I'm saying the name wrong, Carly Bell, Carly Bible, I'm not entirely sure, and the reason being is that I do not follow her. There's no particular reason, I just never really watched her content, so I'm not entirely sure how to say her name, so I do apologize. Please do not come for me in the comments. I bought the palette not because the person who created it, but because of how beautiful the eyeshadow palette looked. It is like definitely a go-to everyday eyeshadow palette, one that's gonna be perfect for the holiday seasons coming up, and so that is why I bought it. <laughs> no other reason. Um, um, as for her, I just, I don't know who she is. But this is the eyeshadow palette right here. This is an absolutely gorgeous packaging. Like it has a 3D effect to it, even though it's not 3D, it definitely has a 3D effect to it. And according to the website, Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible Palette is a limited edition palette created in collaboration with the iconic beauty influencer Carly Bible. Featuring 14 of Carly's Can't Live Without Shades, this versatile collection lets you cheese everything from your go-to Two daytime makeup looks to shimmering nighttime smoky eyes. Get Carly's favorite mattes and metallics in both warm and cool tones in one beautiful eyeshadow palette. Not gonna lie, the front of this matches the top and it ooh, has like a little bit of bumpy texture to it. Super, super nice. I really do like the packaging. But on the inside, Mm, these colors are freaking gorgeous. They are absolutely stunning. Like I said, these are everyday colors that you can wear every single day. These are dress up, dress down. These are truly a neutral eyeshadow palette. It is freaking gorgeous. All right, so I do want to let you guys know that this palette does retail for $45. This is a limited edition eyeshadow palette, but it does retail for $45. There are 14 shadows in this palette, making it $3.21 a shadow. They're also 0.26 ounce each. Each. So they are on a smaller size. ABH is known for having really small eyeshadow pans. Their quality delivers every single time, but they are more of an expensive eyeshadow palette for the amount of payoff that you get when it comes to pan size and shadow price. It is a little more on the expensive side, but I do love ABH. I would definitely give you that. I do love their formula. So let's go ahead and swatch the first row. All right, at the very top we do have Bal Boily, Bali, Bible, Mandela, Libra, Jode, I want to say. OA, I wonder if it's like the show, the OA. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the last one is going to be boy with an E. All right, and then on the second row, we have bear, moo, chai, Cindy, Cindy, Steve, Aura, and my angels. I really hope that my angels is in regard to her subscribers because that'd actually be really cute if it was. All right. So they're, just by swatching it with my finger, they're definitely a little bit of kick up in the pan. To be expected, ABH is known for having a lot of fallout when it comes to the, to the shadows. So I am gonna go ahead and conceal my eyes and then we're just gonna start doing just a simple, basic, everyday look because why not? I feel like this is gonna be like a perfect gift for the holidays as well as just having a really nice eyeshadow palette. All right, so now that that shadow is laid down, let's go ahead and start playing with some colors. All right, so I think the first color I'm gonna go into, I need to get my, you know, you think that by doing this enough, I'd be prepared, but I'm never prepared by never having my brushes available for me. I'm always on the search for my brush, and I don't understand why. It is actually rather annoying. You know what, actually, I think I'm gonna try using one of their brushes. It's been a long time since I used one of an, an ABH brush, so hopefully this works, we shall see. I wanna go into this color chai right here. Since it is getting a little cooler outside right now in Florida, oh God, look at that kick up already. Um, I figured why not go for a little bit of a fall theme. I mean, there's definitely colors in here that you can do like a Christmas theme to, a fall theme to, and just an everyday look theme to it. But I figured I just wanna do something simple and basic because I am gonna go out after this. I don't wanna have anything too drastic like my flashback Mary makeup look. If you guys have not seen the Halloween tutorial, I will have it listed right up here for you guys. It is such a fun tutorial. I had way too much fun with that. I actually like doing stuff like that. Like it just shows like my silly side. It shows like how silly I really am, and how I take things so seriously. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be playing with the OA Aura 
angels, Libra, Mandala. I kind of play what Chai, Mu, Bible, and Bali, Bali. Ooh, hope I'm saying that right. Whatever E. Hope I'm saying that right. All right, now that it's laid down, I'm just gonna take this side. I'm gonna start to just buff that out, just so it's not so harsh. That color laid down beautifully, not surprised. ABH has really, really good formula. Honestly, I feel like this is gonna be such a simple, basic look, like nothing too drastic. Guys, there are so many launches going on right now in the makeup community. I'm a little stressed and overwhelmed by it. I'm like, <gasps> my big account can't keep up. Like ColourPop, once again, you're releasing so many, like ColourPop, once again, you're releasing so much stuff. I'm like, ooh, ColourPop. Like, don't get me wrong, I love ColourPop. And they have the new Disney collection, which obviously I had to get, because especially since I work at Disney, I wish it would just give it to me free, because I work at Disney. But I did get that, and they're also releasing the Smoke Session Palette, which is gonna be, oh my God, it's not called Smoke Session Palette, is it? That's that's uh, Milk Cosmetics. Oh my God, I've been telling everybody about the Smoke Session Palette, saying that's from ColourPop. Ooh, well, it's gonna be uh, smoked out, sm smoky. It's, so it's something smoky, because it's gray and silver, and, by the time you guys watch it, this video, it would only be released, but it's absolutely beautiful and it's only $12 and you can bet your bottom dollar that I am grabbing that eyeshadow palette because it is just too beautiful not to. Plus, I don't really have that many like silvers and grays in my collection. And gray is actually one of my favorite colors. Like my top favorite color is orange, followed by purple, followed by gray. Like those are like my, oh, and then mustard yellow. Those are like my top, colors and then I guess goat green goes after that like the color right, right behind me like these right here those are like my absolute favorite these are like my go-to's like these are the type of wardrobe I like wearing um like the wardrobe I like wearing like this is what I literally stick to this like last one like when Target start rolling all the other fall cardigans <laughs> I bought every single one yeah no shame literally every single one in every single color because why not I had to get all the fall stuff <laughs> just had to and I just watched Chrissy Hartless's video and I'll link it down here below so you guys can go check her out but she just did another fashion haul and she did a fall edition and I was like ooh that was actually really pretty kind of made me want to go maybe I should do it again for fall but then I will I definitely will say as much as I love my fashion clothes like it is a little bit on the pricier side it like you choose what outfits you want to keep but it is a little pricey all right, so next I want to go into is Bible. I think I'm saying that right. Oh, God. Again, a little bit of kick up in the pan to be expected. But we're going to start to just place that right out here. I don't really think this is the best brush to do it with, but you know what? We're going to make it work. Whatever's left, I'm just going to bring forward. It's a very soft color, actually. Not the color that I really thought. I, was gonna be, I thought it was going to be more intense, but it's not. I really thought that was gonna have more intense pigmentation to it, but it really didn't. Oh, okay. Well, the next one I'm gonna go into is Moo. I definitely wanna go into this. Take my little finger, put it right here, and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Oh, that is so pretty. That is such a really pretty color and it has such pigmentation to it. So pretty. I'm gonna go back into my palette. I'm gonna go back into Bible just a little bit. So I wanna put it back on the edge just so I can kind of blend the colors together. Cause sometimes when I put on a color, sometimes I can make the other color disappear a little bit. So I just have to kind of work and finagle it to make it have more of a dimension, di uh, dimension, <laughs> dimension again. So there are eight shimmers and six mattes. You think there should be more of a balance, but there's not. Hey, to each their own. All right, now that that is laid on there, I do want to go into Bolly Bolly. Ooh, I hope I said that right. It's this beautiful, like, champagne color. I'm gonna put that right here. Kind of dulled out a little bit, actually. It's not as vibrant as I wanted it to be. It's very soft. It's very, very soft. Now, one thing I would definitely say about this palette is as gorgeous as it is, because it is white and the shadows do have a lot of kick up to it and a lot of fallout, it's going to make the palette extremely dirty. Like over time by using this, your palette is just gonna get dirty. I mean, it is what it is, nothing you can do about it, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, like just expect it to get dirty because mine's already getting dirty and I've only been playing with it for a little over a half hour. So it's just very soft, just a very, very soft eyeshadow look. Nothing too spectacular. This is like a just very soft everyday look, nothing big. 
All right, so now that that is laid down, this, like I said, this is a very, very simple, basic eye look. There's nothing too spectacular about it, honestly. So I'm just gonna throw on just some mascara and they're like my foundation, the rest of my routine look. I'm not gonna do false lashes today because I feel like this is such a soft, really elegant look that it doesn't really necessarily need lashes to go with it. So let me go ahead and throw that on, maybe figure out what type of waterline I wanna do because there's only so much I can do to make this stand out. I might put my angels maybe in the inner corner to maybe make it have a little more of a pop or I might do like mandala, depending. But let's go ahead and finish off the rest of my face, guys, and I will be right back. And this is the final look. So I decided to throw on a bolder lip. I am wearing the Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood from his uh, Morphe collection. I absolutely love this color and I thought it's perfect just in time for the fall. I feel like this look just is so, at least the eye look is so basic that I needed to spice it up somehow. So why not do a bold lip? So let's go ahead and dive into one of my thoughts of this eyeshadow palette. Well, for starters, I think the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I really do love the packaging. It's such a cool design. It's so pretty. It's so elegant. Look at my chip nail. Gross. <laughs> But I really do love the packaging. And then when you look on the inside, it is a really, really beautiful color scheme. It is an everyday neutral eyeshadow palette. Is it wowing? No, it's really not wowing at all. Like I think the look I created is really pretty and something you can wear every single day. And I think there are some unique colors in here, like the OA color right here. I think it's a really gorgeous color, just like My Angels and Aura is a really pretty color. But I was really drawn to Moo, and I think Bible by far is my absolute favorite. I just think that it's really, really gorgeous, soft, muted, purple brown I am wearing on my under eye. But I could tell just by digging in here that it won't take much to honestly hit the pan. I feel like you can hit the pan rather quickly in this eyeshadow palette. Is it beautiful? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. Is it great for the holidays? Sure. But is it worth your forty-five dollars? Ah. Uh, honestly, it's it's a cool palette to have, and I'm glad I have it from a makeup collection. But is it worth forty-five dollars? No, it's really not. I could honestly create this look using other palettes, and in here I do have the color Mandela. I have that in so many other palettes. I actually have a lot of these similar colors on other palettes. And I know that these are just like her favorite go-to, so that's probably why it's in here. Like, you can see how dirty this is already getting. It's definitely getting really dirty. Um, I do like the palette, but I definitely do not think that it's worth forty-five dollars. Personally, that is just my opinion. I'm grateful that I have it, and it's nothing against her when I say this. It just isn't worth my money. I can create this looking look. I can create this look. Using Using other palettes and while I think it's really pretty and while I love the color scheme of it the packaging of it and I do think these are really beautiful colors on the inside I would definitely say save your money because I guarantee you, you guys have these shadows and other palettes itself and I got it because I do love ABH and like her Narvina like the Narvina collection I feel like that's worth more the money than this is personally and I'm pretty sure that eventually maybe like Alter Ego would end up doing a dupe of this eyeshadow palette as gorgeous as it is and it's limited edition I am glad that I have it but like I said honestly I would not spend $45 on this I did like I did but uh, I would definitely recommend saving your money I do not think this is worth it as pretty as it is it performs very well it's just not as wowing as I wanted it to be but if you guys do love Carly Bible or Carly Bell however you want to say her name if you guys do love her and you want to support her by all means go purchase this palette I do love the packaging I think that it's more appealing to me than the actual shadows himself I'm glad I got it because it's just gonna go into my makeup collection because I do love my makeup collection so it's definitely gonna be a good fit in there and I'm sure I will definitely gravitate back to this palette just for this eyeshadow just for this eyeshadow color alone. I'll probably go back in here. Same with Moo. I really do like Moo. Bali, it just wasn't as thrilling as I wanted to be, but overall, I mean it's a decent palette, but definitely not worth $45. So Hopefully you guys can understand. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this and if you guys like this makeup look. Yeah guys, that is it for today's video. Please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I poop. I poop. <laughs> oh my god. I do post three to four videos a week. Also make sure you guys head on over to my other channel. It's Our Florida Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures with amazing fiance Corey. And as always guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye! Ooh, 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 microphone! Please be in! Since an eyeshadow palette. Making it. So I do want you guys to know that. So I do want you guys to know. Alright, so I do want you guys to know this right. This, 
Um, some of the names in here, I'm assuming they have meanings to her. <laughs> like this translucent, like this, I cannot believe I just said I pooped. I mean, we all poop, I mean we're humans, but I can I said, um, I poop. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty, pretty look, but definitely not worth the uh, $45. Nope. Oh, der, thumbnail. Hello. Almost forgot the most important part of the video.